Well, Ingram knows how to be a problem for the defense inside, drawing contact there. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for New Orleans. Well, they've been owning the painted area offensively. I love the intensity they're playing with down there. Yeah, they've also done a great job of running, attacking when they get the chance. Always a great idea. Matthews passes to Berton. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. Yeah, and that's maybe something that should be called more. We see a lot of moving screens in today's NBA. Pass to Ingram. 4-3. And he drains it, making him 7 for 15 for the day. Yeah, and after not making any triples in the first half, that's his second since the break. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. That one off the back iron and out. Well, that one should be in his wheelhouse, but just off the mark. Tries a 10-footer, and the bucket is good. And now it's a nine-point Pelican lead. Well, you can tell that Ingram has it going. What a difference maker he's been on offense. Pass to Cork Moss. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, but also credit the offense there. That's making a play when you really need it. And they need more of it. An aggressive move to a strong finish. Yeah, and getting out in transition allows for some easy points before that defense is fully set. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, you got to love that kind of effort. Getting in there and fighting through the defense. Pass to Cork Moss. To the paint. Abdul-Jabbar's shot is good. Abdul-Jabbar's got 13 in the second half. What a difference a half can make. As much as he struggled in the first two quarters, he certainly made up for it with his play in the second half. Green with a screen on Bertans. The shot by Ingram, no good. That's not a bad shot at all. It just didn't go in. Sometimes the process is right, and you still get a bad result. Pass to Cooper. Fires the three. Drops in the three. After a brutal first half from the field, their shots are finally starting to fall. Outside, Green. The three. And it's Pittsburgh with a rebound. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Here's Matthews, defended by Jones. Bertans for three. Jones grabs the board. New Orleans in the lead. Here's Ingram, and it's Pittsburgh with a rebound. Abdul-Jabbar's got 11 rebounds in the game. Sometimes the action speeds up on you a little too much. Two teammates not on the same wavelength there. A great job to establish position and square up. Green's checked in for Bertans. Pass to Ingram. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Ingram's got 11 points in the quarter. Well, they just need to keep getting him the ball. He has been terrific this quarter. Here's Cork Moss. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Over Tice. Abdul Jabbar's shot is good. Yeah, he's been able to turn it around after a rough first half. He's now looking much better offensively. Pass to Ingram. Off target at the rim. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. Cooper passes to Korkbaz. Here's Cooper. Here's Matthews. Lock at four. To tie it up. Tice grabs the miss. Tice has got four rebounds in the game. Matthews gone two for six from the floor so far. 
Down low. Here's Ingram. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got six assists in the game. Well, that can be a tough shot, but easy there for Brandon Ingram. Here's Matthews. Alvarado defending. Matthews passes to Abdul-Jabbar. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's on Daniel Tice. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. No good on the free throw. And New Orleans making a change here. McCollum's checked in. And he can't make the second free throw either. Missed them both. Here's Ingram. And all around the rim that time before dropping. Now it's a six-point New Orleans lead. Well, Ingram just so smooth getting into that pull-up. Very tough for the defender to bother that shot. Here's Williamson. Oh, a highlight! What a slam! Oh, my. Defying the laws of physics, Zion Williams. And how about our AT&T 5G slam can? Couldn't have captured that play any better. The fader. Abdul-Jabbar shot is good. Abdul-Jabbar's got 12 now in this quarter. Wow, he's found his game offensively here in the second half. Really has turned things around. Here's Ingram. Abdul-Jabbar with a rebound. And their biggest problem so far, taking care of the ball. Yeah, they've made some great plays, but way too many turnovers. Pass to Murray. Here's Johnson. And this is just Man. typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. Well, you know this is when they lean on him, and he delivers with a much-needed score. And here's Tice. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Man, good whistle there. Second personal foul. First free throw is good. And really strong at the line since the break. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And crucially, he did enough there to make it a two-possession game. Here's Korkmaz. And off the front iron, and in it goes. And we've got a timeout called by Willie Green, looking to get everyone dialed in and engaged. And let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Willie Green coaching his team during that last break. Confidence is what he's asking for right now. He said, quote, when it's close, we have to keep believing in ourselves. And if we don't think we can pull it out, we've already lost. So some strong words from coach in the huddle. Back to you, Brian. As always, Allie, we thank you. Ooh, stolen by Murray. Oh, and a fast break for the Pelicans. McCullum with it. Pass to Ingram. The shot's good. Ingram's got 34. Well, just huge points there from Ingram. His length is so often an advantage in those situations. Johnson against McCullum. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. Uses the glass on the layup. Abdul-Jabbar's got 21. Zero rim protection. Unforgivable in a tight ball game like this. Yeah, there's no excuse for giving that up. That's the absolute last thing you want to have. Here's Ingram. And it's Pittsburgh with a rebound. Worthy's got four rebounds now. And so it's Johnson with it. He brings it up for Pittsburgh. It's a three-point game. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. First free throw is good. And that brings him within two here. good from the line that time 143 left in the game to the inside Williamson carving out space Zion those are some key points there from Zion Williams. here's 
Cooper, defended by Murray. Inside. Here's Abdul Jabbar. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Give him 23. Well, he led him with the pass there, almost like a quarterback timing a room. That was in. Zion rises up and throws it down. He's just staying poised down the stretch. That's a big make for Williamson. Here's Cooper to the middle. Tipped. Oh, it's stolen by Tice. Williamson looking around. McCullum outside. Nails it from three. And now a six-point New Orleans lead. Well, those are some huge points from the vet. C.J. McCollum. Forty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Johnson passes to Abdul Jabbar. Rebounded by Ingram. He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Well, it seems like every season, DeJounte Murray is out to make it his best year. That competitiveness is something you really appreciate. Down low. Here's Abdul Jabbar. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Nice execution by the offense, generating a good look. And an intentional foul right there. He gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Look, a leader both on and off the floor. You can tell McCollum's teammates really look up to him. At this point, it just feels like it's over. Yeah, time is not on their side. The score is not on their side. Nothing you can do. And here's Ingram. And so the Pelicans take the win. A clean win, and one where they clearly showed better energy. Yes, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I...